Hey guys, what's going on? SSL not track following. I'm gonna show you really quickly how easily the UF8 follows track selection and how track selection follows UF8. I'm reading a lot of complaints where people are saying, big SSL oversight, what is going on? Well, well let's see here. Follow suit, track follow suit, follow suit, Follow suit, I'm selecting them right here. You see how we're at sax here. Also use UF1 follow suit. The DAW follow suit. Um, so everything is in line here. Um, let me do it the other way around. I'm clicking on the track and it follows right here. Ceramic percussion, crash, drums. Everything follows suit. Well, why is that? Well, first of all, let's go to drums here. There's one element here. Let me move SSL native channel strip here behind Filter Freak. Now Filter Freak is the first one. Now watch this. Bass follows suit. Shaker follows suit. Ceramic percussion follows suit. Crash follows suit. Drums also follow suit, but it doesn't follow suit on the UC1. So for the UC1 to follow suit, you need to have the SSL native channel strip as the first instance very quickly. Also in 360 here, if we were to overlay the 360 software here, the same thing of course applies. So if I jump through the tracks right here, here you go. Very easy. So that is very cool. Now there is another feature here. It is this here. This wheel highlights the track. It doesn't select the track. Uh, as far as UF1 is concerned. And that is actually a good thing because I could be working on the drums right here, let's say tweaking, um, let me go back to the drums, the filter freak, right? But then I am interested in working on UF1 on a different channel. Let's say I wanna see how that works with the ceramic percussion in this case versus the drums. So I have an independent way of disconnecting for a brief moment, if you want, the, UF, uh, the UC1 and work in so-called console mode. Uh, the moment I would be hitting, let's say, crash, it immediately pulls it back together and all three devices are lined up. Now, what is the magic here? Um, here are my settings that I have turned on. Um, auto select channel strips that pertains really to the console in logic you have to have this symbol here enabled the link that was it for me there is another feature in logic which means that when you move the fader it automatically selects a track i don't have that enabled at all i select it like so um, I don't want to accidentally, you know, touch a fader and then it automatically selects the track. There's no need for that. But as you can see, this works perfectly fine. Um, so hit me up with any questions. This is just a quick shout out. Happy producing with those two new SSL superstars. All right, let's get it.